So let's actually write something useful for production this time. I want to write a little tool that will enable Roto artists to quickly check their, their work in motion. So we'll write something that will add a pre-mold node to the currently selected node and merge the result on top of a checkerboard and then write that out to disk and then we'll bring it back into a read node for future reference and then clean up after ourselves and restore the nuke script as it was before the Python script was run. So let's have a look at how that works. First I want to access the last node in the script which is Bezier 5 and since nothing is selected at the moment I need to access it by its name and we can do this by using nuke.toNode followed by the name of the node we want to access like so. So if I select this and run you can see that this returns the node object of the node called Bezier 5 and if I wanted to select it in the node graph I can simply go dot set selected and set that to true. Running that line will simply select the node that is called Bezier 5. Now we will assume that the artist obviously selects a node for us and then runs our script on it. So the first thing I want to do in the real script that I'm about to write is to store the current node selection. And I'll just use current node equals nuke dot selected node. So this will return the currently selected node and we'll save it into the current node variable for us to play with later. The next thing I want to do is create a pre-mold node and the easiest way to do this is using nuke.create node followed by the node class as a string as its argument and this will mimic exactly how a node would be created through the interface. Let's have a look at that. So this will attach a pre-mold node, it will actually connect it to the selection, it will take over the selection in the node graph it will open the panel, it will auto place itself and you will get all those things for free using create node. Now what if I didn't want to open the node panel because I find it quite annoying. I can simply use in panel equals false and that will still deliver all the goodies but it won't open the panel. Another thing that is advisable to do is to create variables and store the result of those node creations in them so we can actually access all the nodes later on that we created like so. So if I delete this again and run this one more time we get our pre-mold back but this time we still have access to it through the pre-mold variable. So if I now wanted to change the name of it I could go pre-mold.setName and give it a new name. Running that line we'll rename our node now let's uh, create a checkerboard doing the same thing nuke.create node checkerboard I actually want to create checkerboard 2 because the other one is old and um, this time I want to assign a knob value as I create this and I can do this by using a second argument again it's a string and in fact this is a TCL list so unfortunately the create node is a bit of a hybrid between Python and TCL Anyway, the way it works is you simply use the knob name followed by the value. So let's say I want to change the checkerboard's box size to 100. I just type box size, space, value. And if I wanted to assign more knob and value pairs, I would just go space, knob, space, value, and so forth. In this case, this is all I want. So I close the quote. And once again, we don't want the panel to open. So we'll run this and that gives us our checkerboard. Now again I forgot to actually assign this checkerboard to a variable so I'm kind of stuck now. So I'll assign that to a variable again and now we can actually work with it. Let's say we want to open the panel using nuke.show. We can now pipe that variable into that nuke.show method, run that and it will open the panel for the checkerboard and we can see the box size knob has been set to 100 on creation. Next we want to create a merge node. So once again we go nuke.create node merge and actually again like the checkerboard 2 I want to create the node merge 2 not merge. Merge is the old merge, merge 2 is the new merge. If you're not sure which class to put in here, simply create the node that you're after in the interface and then go to Edit, Node and find the info viewer or simply hit I in the node graph. 
and that will open a whole bunch of information about the selected node and a second line will tell you which class to use in your Python script. So once again we want merge2 and um, running that once again will auto place it, auto connect and all that. However in this case because merge1 or merge is a multi-input node it could connect A or B depending on the user preferences. So I don't want to rely on user preferences to understand which pipe is connected, so I'd rather do it manually so I know what I get. So let's actually look at an alternative way to create nodes, and that's the nuke.nodes package, so to speak. The nuke nodes package will let you enter node classes as a method. So I can just type that here without quotes. And if I run this, with a checkerboard selected or anything selected, you'll see that this will simply add the merge node somewhere in the script without actually modifying the existing nuke script. In other words, this method will ensure you're not breaking any pipe connections or changing the current node selection, and it's a much more predictable way of creating nodes, but you will have to do everything manually. Another benefit of this is that the argument list is actually a proper Pythonic syntax. So I can say I want the name to be temp merge comma I want the label to be something whatever and so forth so that's a lot cleaner than the argument list used for nuke.create node and once again we'll store the whole thing in a variable like this and run it there we are now what's left to do for us is to actually connect the A and B pipes and in order to do that, we'll have a quick look at the merge node using Python's dir function to list all the methods that are available to us. So just type dir and then parentheses my node. And running that line will list all the methods available to us. If you type help instead of dir, you'll actually get more or less verbose help text for all those methods. You can see we find the set name method in here and the set selected method we used earlier and we also find the set input method which is exactly what I need to connect inputs in Nuke. So let's get rid of this and type merge dot set input and the first argument for the set input method is the pipe number you want to connect with the rightmost pipe in the node graph being index 0. So let's wire up the B pipe and we want to put that against the checkerboard like so and that connects our background and if I copy that line and paste it and then use index 1 which is pipe A and that is supposed to be connected to the pre-mode node that will create our script. So let's just quickly have a look at uh, what we've been doing by using nuke.connectViewer nuke.connectViewer is a very similar method to set input in that it takes a pipe index first, which is pipe 0, that is buffer 1 in our interface, and that is meant to connect to the merge node. And now we can actually see what's going on. And to play the whole thing we can use nuke.activeViewer.play and I want to play forward so I'm giving it a 1. If I wanted to play backwards, I could give it a zero. And of course, I can stop the whole thing as well, like that. So this is pretty much all for part one. In part two, we'll have a look at how to render the whole setup through a write node. We will look at bringing in the um, rendered sequence into a read node and then cleaning up after ourselves by deleting all the nodes we created. And also we'll stuff the whole thing into a menu and assign a hotkey.